can have it as tight as you want. I mean, obviously, the tighter you go, the quicker it's going to come up. It doesn't feel as if it's doing anything. No, it? It, it takes a, a while to do it. It's not incredible. <laughs> Hello, my name is Paula Badgen and I'm the representative for the West Country for the E-Type Club. Um, it's a great club run by Philip Porter. Um, the patron is Norman Dewis, who was a test driver for Jaguar from 1952 up to about 1985. Uh, it's a very friendly club um, and there is not only uh, technical uh, information available in a fantastic magazine, but uh, information about tours and other events which are a lot of fun. It's very sociable, um, it's, a very, it's a great place to meet uh, like-minded friends. I think there's an awful lot to be gained from membership of the club. Uh, you've got a lot of information, um, a lot of backup in terms of uh, buying, what to look out for when you're buying a car. Some great articles on restoration, all of which are still available in the archives. So. Um, I think the sheer fact that you had the foresight to disassociate yourself from the general Jaguar scene and create a magazine and a club purely for the model of the E-Type, which is what attracted me, and I am a founder member of the club, so obviously it attracted me straight into the club, the principle of what you were trying to achieve there, and I think it's worked. You've got a superb magazine that comes out every month. I stopped in my car recently and a man in a white van wound his window down and said, mate, that's the sexiest car that was ever designed. And I said, thank you very much. And in a way, he's right. It is, a, it is, I hate the term, overuse of the term icon, but I think in this case, it is fully justified. It is an icon. And I'm rather proud to have one. <laughs>